one. Greetings, Wizard 101 players and YouTubers. I am James Giant Staff. That's my sidekick, the Lady Cleo. And my co host, the awesome Lindsay Flame. Hi there. Welcome to another Stick of Truth. Lady Cleo, set us up. We're talking about crowded places, aka Wu Realm and the Commons. Alrighty, let's get on to it. Well, shall I have the honors? Be my guest. <laughs> Alright, let's start okay, off okay. with the. <laughs> let's start off with the most common one, the Commons. <laughs> so. The Commons is mostly known for not fishing, but it's usually, let's be honest, it's where the drama happens. You go to the Commons, you stand in the corner, you will see some stuff. It's, it's like a soap opera in that place around the pond. Yeah, you'll see, you'll see people like, oh, um, someone give me a password, I need a boy, I need a girl, or... Someone take me to Pagoda or Winterbane. Ugh. I swear to God, that place is like worse than cable TV after a bender. <laughs> and I've been hella drunk. <laughs> Indeed. I think only drunk people go in there because I have seen some stuff go down there. Like, one time I was in the commons and I was um, fishing. And I guess this couple was like, grab Zarm, why did you cheat on me? And the other person was like, I didn't cheat on you! And then the other guy poured and was like, yeah, I cheated on you! And I'm like, okay, I'm just trying to fish here. <laughs> I wish you'd seen something like that. Look, yeah. It's really sad. I have been strolling through the comments and have seen just the most heinous of things go down. Just heinous. I'm talking about it's enough that makes me want to go bleach my eyes. <laughs> it's so true. But it's something it's pretty entertaining. if you have bleached eyes. Well, that took a dark turn. Yeah, it did. <laughs> oh, Lord. But I'll admit, some of the conversations that are held in the comments are pretty entertaining. Okay. Uh, I've literally seen some of the most entertaining and enjoyable conversations that I've looked back to in videos. It's so cute how, like, at one minute, you'll see some weird argument, right? But then you'll just see two people laughing and trading, basically. The Jack Sack has walked in on the middle of a breakup. <laughs> <laughs> Sad. And the hookup. And the hookup. Yeah, I yeah, saw someone hook up right after. Yeah, I mean, what's the whole wedding? There. I've walked in on a funeral. A funeral? Funeral. <laughs> and literally, not 10 feet, or basically like 100 pixels. Uh, there was a wedding. A funeral and a wedding, oh my god. But in the same realm, literally 100 pixels away from each other. See, 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 wedding and a show. Dinner and a show. You literally, but there's just like, everyone's dressed in black over here, like, sitting around a casket, right? And they're just not, 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 a hundred feet away. Like, what the fuck? Are, you, are they getting married? <laughs> yes. Cycle of life, people, cycle of life. And the stuff that happens behind the buildings in the commons, don't you oh, get Oh, gosh. Some... Ew. Again. I bleach. <laughs> tail bleach. I'd rather bleach my tail. Oh, Lord. But behind those buildings, I sometimes think that there are hall monitors. Which leads me to the next topic. Woo Realm. Oh, uh, Woo Realm. The so. gods must speak of Woo Realm as well. But you guys may have the floor first. All right. So, I remember the first time that I heard of Wu Realm. It was basically chaos where people were getting, I, they claim to just be getting muted by hall monitors for just
just even standing in the Wu realm die shop. Some of them were cursing, some of them were just standing in the die shop and still got muted. So it's basically a very dangerous place to go to. Yes. Also, very right. Uh, so, no, just stay away. Yes, the job staff was actually in the die shop. In Wu Realm, walks in and automatically sees a text bubble. I don't like black people. What? Are you kidding me? Do you not see the giant staff? But God was there with the giant staff at that moment. Before you continue that, may I ask, why in the world would you go to the Wu Realm Die Shop? Are you trying to get yourself muted? No, well, see, the Giant Staff was told that the Die Shop was a bad place. And the Giant Staff is all about knowledge. Knowledge is power. So the Giant Staff went there to see if all the rumors were true. He walks in and automatically... Slam! Hit with some bigotry. Like, what? Oh, oh, no, no, no. The giant staff needs to drop some knowledge. So the giant staff proceeded to drop knowledge on folks. <laughs> yes. And then mm. folks automatically were like, uh, 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 time to stop talking. Black guy in the room. <laughs> giant um, staff was all like, bullshit! <laughs> you might want to give me but anyways, gods, what do you have to say about this? Yes. What do you have to say about this, gods? Wu Realm is a very dangerous realm. I have been sitting in Wu Realm and not saying one word. And a little box will pop up on the left hand of the screen saying this person got muted. This person got banned. That is not a place to be. Even if it wasn't me getting muted or banned, it was somebody else. It says the name of the person, which is very sad that that person would lose chat privileges, but they might have done something really bad. Yeah, oh, I, I even have, have a whole story. story. Yeah. Go ahead. Tell. Tell. I was in the room. Basically, basically doing, doing my, my own little thing, thing one, one of my, my videos. videos. And, and literally, literally I'm, I'm just sitting, sitting in a corner. Uh, well, well, my, my friend, friend basically rants on open, open chat. chat. Or, yeah, yeah basically. basically. And, and this, this literally, because I have it says this roller, seven, seven or eight, eight people got, got banned. banned in, in a span, span of three minutes. minutes? That realm is very dangerous. Yeah, speaking of uh, all of that, like, a lot of people who get banned in the Wu realm are, aren't actually even in the conversation. They're just associated with the people in the conversation. And also, I've noticed that it's not it's not only the die shop either. Like, if you just go to Wu in general and go to, like, the bazaar or the shopping district, you'll see a huge group of people just... Talking. And, and I, I think, think I don't, I don't know, know if they, they go there because, because they want conversation because, because they're bored but they, they go there and they're reckless I, like, I remember I remember I was, I was um, actually gonna go dye my stuff, stuff and, and I, noticed I noticed that there's, there's a lot of people, people and I'm like oh, oh is there like a reunion or don't tell me this is a woo realm and I immediately checked the realm and yep definitely the woo realm I legit Screamed and immediately changed realm. That's how terrified I am of the Wu realm. It is not a fun place to be. Your character got banned from the Wu realm? Yes, it was very sad. Oh. I mean, it's just. It's, it's, it's not, not good. good. I mean, like, if you know this realm is dangerous, right? I mean, King's, King's Isle should, should post a warning. A warning. Or, or something, something or, or do something, something about, about the filter, filter in there, there. or hell, just, just 
completely deletes the round all together. <laughs> yeah, but if it's causing this much problems, we don't need it. The first time I went into the realm after I came back from all these upkeep of time, I had literally forgotten it was so dangerous. And literally, first I was muted, and I didn't even know it because I just kept, like, moving around. And then I actually looked that, like, all my options were chat and everything had disappeared. Yes. And then they started, then they started taking my stuff. And what, and what I think they're actually doing in there is just randomly muting people as a warning. Yes! Like, you don't even have to be doing anything. It's just like, oh, yeah, just mute that person, mute that person, mute that person. Just to let them know we're still here and we're watching. Yes, they're trying to prove a point. What they're doing, I think, is they're trying to show their power. Yes! Yes, I think that is tired. I mean, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Do not bite the hand that feeds you. Nope. I mean, because eventually enough players are going to get sick of this. They're going to stop playing. They're going to stop paying. I mean, King's Out, you're not Blizzard. You can't just randomly be throwing away money. Blizzard can do that. Why was that big? Yeah. They, they can totally, totally cheese off, you know, thousands of players. And still have money. In fact, they do it all the time. <laughs> yeah. And people keep playing because, well, they know that it's Blizzard's power. Blizzard knows, but they know they're powerful. That's why they don't do it all that often. <laughs> King's Out, you're not, not that, that big. big. You can't yeah, just be randomly, randomly slapping people. people. They might be big. Well, they might be getting big is what I should say. They're growing. They are not as huge as Blizzard. And I don't think they will ever be that big. There's a, there's a slight chance. But I think by that time, Blizzard will be even bigger. It depends if Crowfall is a success. Which, Which I will actually, actually save Crowfall for, for another episode. Yep. But yeah. I'm to Yeah. Add that to the list. Crowfall. I was just saying, I mean, like, we we'll run completely dangerous. You know, yeah. Kings Isle is never flipping their mind. You need to watch it, Kings Isle. Eventually, the players will realize they don't have to play. Yep. Let's see. Go ahead and take a step. This has been another episode of The Stick of Truth.